Indian Motorcycles are perhaps one of the few companies that have given Harley Davidson a run for its money. But not all of their bikes are quite that amazing, and some people even go as far as to say their bikes are plain bad. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about why Indian Motorcycles suck. So let's begin. Well, corrosion and paint bubbles on the chrome fender strips, which are tack welded to the fender skirts, are a regular complaint from Indian motorcycle owners. Consumer reports indicate that both the front and rear fenders are susceptible. The severity of the problem and whether or not it affects both fenders is dependent on the specific model and year of the Indian bike, as well as whether or not the fenders are chrome plated. While newer Indian motorcycles typically have their corroding chrome strips covered under warranty, that doesn't aid owners who purchase their bikes without one. At first glance, this may appear like a purely decorative concern, but several riders have reported rusting chrome stripes and fender skirts due to water getting in via the bubbling chrome's open seams. Why exactly do the fenders of Indian motorcycles corrode and bubble over with chrome? When chrome strips were soldered to the skirt, the fenders weren't always painted completely around the welds. Sometimes the chrome strips are only vinyl or plastic with a thin layer of chrome tape over the top. The chrome tape used on 2017 vehicles bubbles up when exposed to mild temperature and humidity fluctuations, allowing corrosion to build around it. Another issue with these bikes is that clutch cables snap easily. Some owners blame subpar installation by the dealership, while others blame insufficient lubrication of the wires during maintenance. The peculiar design of the Indian clutch cable actuator has been blamed by more than a few mechanics for the frequent failure of Indian motorcycle clutch cables. Compared to the clutch lever end, the anchor point at the actuator end is difficult to verify. If you routinely drive on a sandy road, the rate at which your clutch cable breaks will be directly proportional to how well you maintain it by cleaning and lubricating it at each service. In Indian bikes, many clutch cables fail at the weld that holds the cable within the actuator. Without proper lubrication, the clutch cable might break near its attachment points on either end during clutch disengagement. Moreover, these bikes also have a tendency to suffer fading of saddlebags and seats. India's original plan was to equip all of its motorcycles with real leather, which is why 2014 models were particularly susceptible to leather fading. To be sure, leather deteriorates in the sun, and many riders grumble that the altered appearance of their Indian is due to the fading tan leather. Since 2015, when Indian began receiving complaints about the leather on their bikes, they've used bonded or artificial leather, which deteriorates at a far slower rate. Thus, while newer models from 2015 onward include better fade-resistant seats and saddlebags, a common complaint from Indian riders is that they're not made of genuine leather. Another pretty common complaint with this bike is that the mirrors don't stay tight. Indian motorcycle mirrors are unique in the fact that they don't require fasteners to secure the mirrors to the handlebar stems. These are instead sliding adjustment nuts that come loose due to vibration. The mirror stem on Indian motorcycles is secured with the nut that is tightened around the stem itself. Once you possession the mirror where you want it to be, you may secure it by tightening the bolt. The mirror stem might become dislodged due to engine and wind vibrations by rattling back and forth. A loose Indian motorbike mirror can become a serious safety issue at highway speeds, flapping back and forth and even hanging upside down. Although some Polaris Indian owners have reported that their bike stands have only cracked and peeled in the first year, 2014, others have said that the issue has occurred on bikes as recently as 2017. Polaris's in-house professional engineering team designed all the components in the early Indians, but production was contracted out to mass manufacturing facilities. The chrome finish on some versions of motorbike side stands would chip and finally peel off in big pieces, exposing the raw metal underneath. Eventually, the rust and decay will completely consume the peeling stands. Earlier models of Indian bikes were rumored to have a problem with the side stand hinge cracking on a chronic basis as the stand was raised and lowered. Some bikers choose to repair their broken side stands with welds and re-chrome their kickstands, while others opt for a newer, more sturdy Indian design. Still, some will not even consider Polaris when it comes time to replace the broken side stand on their Indian motorcycle, opting instead to purchase an aftermarket replacement made specifically for their model year. Due to a design defect, Indian motorcycles' rear drive belt pulleys made annoying squeaking noises in 2014. 
Polaris's first year installation of horizontal barriers on the drive belt pulleys of Indian motorcycles resulted in a squeaking noise. Later, Indian engineers updated the part by replacing the straight grooves with V-cuts and the issue was resolved. More than a few Indian motorcycles from 2014 can still be found in the pre-owned market. If you're looking to buy one, make sure to inquire about whether or not the seller has upgraded to the newer V-grooved drive belt pulley. If you can't, ask if you can save some money and get a quieter part put at the dealership to save the hassle. Finally, the engine makes clanking sounds. Although the iconic Thunderstroke engine used by Indian in the majority of their motorbike models is a wonderfully engineered performance-based torque monster, one of the most prevalent complaints from Indian motorcycle owners is the sound of the engine clanking. The distinctive semi-dry oil sump on Indian motorcycles is usually blamed for the engine noise that riders complain about. A loud and rapid slapping noise can be produced by an engine if oil pools in the crankcase and isn't pumped out quickly enough, causing the counterbalance weights to slap against the oil pool. Piston slap on a cold start is to be expected on a motorbike with short skirt pistons, such as many Indians. Therefore, this could be another contributing factor. However, if the slap persists after the engine, oil, and pistons have reached operating temperature, it may be due to poorly placed pistons. When pistons are not installed securely during manufacturing, they can generate a slapping noise, accelerating the wear of the piston rings, increase oil consumption, and reduce engine power due to compression loss. Excess oil in the crankcase, smacking on your cam's counterweights is the most prevalent cause of an Indian motorcycle's engine clanking sounds. Oil sumping is a common problem with many air-cooled V-twin motorbikes, but experts suggest that some Indian engines have faulty scavenger generators in the oil pumps. Additionally, Indian motorcycle oil pumps are significantly more difficult to access than those of competing brands, making it more difficult to realign the pumps and replace the O-rings. The flawed oil pumps on Indian motorcycles are a major source of frustrations because of this. Now, us telling you about these issues doesn't mean that every Indian bike has them. It is just a rundown of the problems that many of the models had before. But which company does not have issues? At the end of the day, it just boils down to your personal preference. If you really like the bikes produced by Indian, then you should go for it because, after all, they are giving competition to Harley-Davidson. And that's saying something. So, that's all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. See you in the next one.